Alright, hey guys, I am Ginkgo Buns from Modern Vengeance, and today I have a special announcement for all you guys out there. I have currently started development on another game, uh, that is not Ginkgo the Buns Saga. Ginkgo the Buns Saga has, uh, unfortunately been stopped. Uh, I will start development, me and Darren will start development on it s soon enough. I'm not sure when though, we have a lot more projects going on right now, both of us do. And my little project is Giggle 2. Uh, it will have Sir Giggle Buns the fourth uh, as the main character, just as Giggle Buns Saga would. Um, now, what is Giggle Two? Think about Zelda Two, okay? Um, as maybe you guys don't know that actually, but um, Zelda Two is my by far my most favorite game ever. Uh, favorite Zelda game ever, maybe favorite game ever. It's, it's I, I love that game so much. I love it to death. It's one of my most favorite games uh, of all time up there. Uh, oh, okay, hold on one minute. Um, it's 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 my favorite old game, so uh, I decided I want to make a game like it. So I called it Giggle 2. Uh, it's going to play basically exactly the same as Zelda 2, but it'll have its own twists and stuff, so... Uh, yeah, I started development on yesterday. Uh, I've gotten all the animations done for the main character. Uh, I've got both graphics done. I'm getting all the unimportant stuff that, that's going to be added in later out of the way before I start doing all the programming and coding, which is probably a stupid idea. So I'm, I'm, right now I'm, I'm working on the music and the graphics. And that's all I'm working on right now. But uh, sooner or later I will start working on... Well, not sooner or later. After I finish the other stuff, I will start working on uh, the you know, programming and the code for the game. I'm using Game Maker. Don't hate me on that. Uh, game Maker is a very powerful tool if you know how to use it. Really, you know, like uh, what games are made with Game Maker? I don't know Hotline Miami was, Nidhog. Those games are made with Game Maker, and uh, it just depends on how you use it and, and who's using it, basically. Um, I have very little programming skills, but I am learning. Uh, you guys saw Giggle Bunch Saga. I mean, I wasn't even working on it. Me and they were both simultaneously working on the programming while well, I did most of the spreading and stuff like that. But he, he did put, we, we, we both put good effort into the code. I probably will have him help me a little bit with it because he is, he is much better at programming and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that that game will be coming out sometime in the future. Uh, maybe a tech demo very soon, maybe in the next week or two. I will have a tech demo out because, I mean, it's not very hard. I mean, <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest. Making games is a lot easier than it may seem, depending on what you're making, though. Because like, I'm making a, a sprite-based game. Those are pretty easy in um, theory. And, well, they are just easy, basically. I mean, it will take a lot of time to code, like, you know, about a week or two to uh, completely make the make the game into something that's playable. Everything else will take more time, considering that I have to make the dungeons, the whole overworld map, because the um, thing I'm kind of cheating out with is, uh, sir, in Zelda 2, how you would get random encounters in the overworld, it would just go through it. And... For those, I'm doing just just that. I'm making a, a long strip of room for those specifically. So everything can look flow more naturally. But then when I get to dungeons and caves, those are going to be the thing. Because there's clouds in the sky. And you don't want to see the same three clouds each time. You want to see different clouds each time. So making it that it's a full long stretch, it'll look more natural and have a better feel to the game. But, um... The dungeons and the caves and stuff like that, towns will have repeating backgrounds. Well, not the towns. The towns will not have that because towns have clouds too. But it'll be repeating. It's repeating room. Like, so, I have to figure out how to do that. And, uh, basically, uh, I will... I got off track so easily. But, the hardest part is going to be making the dungeons... Because they they can't be too easy, or 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 but they can't be too impossible. You have to find that happy medium where you're making a dungeon that makes it playable and fun for the person that's actually playing the game. And that's something that's very hard to grasp in any game. 
any game concept that you ever make. Like it, it's just having the game be fun and challenging and also like rewarding to the player is something that's very hard to capture in games and it's something that not a lot of games do nowadays and that's something that I really want to do you know I mean I want to make the game basically Zelda 2 different with different graphics and different story well not really different story because but I want it to be a good game and I want it to be a game that will be fun you know rewarding and challenging all at the same times like in my animation class um, last year I made a game in Flash and it was okay I mean they're in the review on it it's hard to do a couple last couple of levels but there's, but there's a progression and capturing that progression is hard for specific games and Giggle 2 will be one of those Zola 2 was hard, Zola 2 was very hard and I'm being completely honest, I love the game, you know, but it's hard, it's confusing, it's really cryptic in this, like, what what am I doing, where, is, where am I going? I may, I, I want to make it so I can go to is easier, but it, it's still going to be, it's still going to have some challenge, and, but, I don't know, it's, 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 it's going to be hard to do that, and, you know, you know, it's like time. It's not like I'm gonna make the game and then automatically already have like the whole. I'm just. I don't know why I've gone into this rant about the making of the game like that, but yeah, Giggle Two will be coming out soon. Uh, I will have a concept demo at some point in the future, not too far in the future, very soon. Um, and I'm very excited for this project, as is Darren. Um, but yeah, uh, I might start. A Kickstarter because you know um I don't have all the right tools to uh to make the game yet. Uh, I mean, because I want to make really good music. I want to make these graphics better. I need, I, I, but I can't do that and just game maker and the little programs I have now. So I need you guys' help. Uh, I will start a Kickstarter and um I I would love for you guys to support that for me and yeah. If you guys are excited for the game, just comment down below. Uh, say hey, I, w I I like that idea, um, and support me if you guys wish. You don't have to, um, but I will have rewards for people that do. Well, obviously, people that do do that. So just like a free copy of the game, maybe I don't know something special for you guys. Maybe a place in the credits for demo testing. Um, but yeah. Uh, so check out the Kickstarter. Uh, I am Giggle Buns from Mono Vengeance, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.